but <clears throat> with this you can set it I'm probably gonna set it back up underneath this here Right underneath it and I'll hang my CD from that. And then there's this trail running through here most likely it's a coon trail, but a cat will use it just the same. So cats like to hunt shit like this anyway. Barring it, it ain't too wet. Cats, that's the one thing I don't really <coughs> love. Is you're kind of, I only carry a certain amount of CDs and stuff with me anyway, and you're just burning a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of your equipment up using it. Somebody like me, enough to carry all of it, of course. It's He's there, killer. Yeah. Smack me back in the face. I'm gonna use Pete on this. Cause he's gonna kind of be up underneath all this right here. And I can pull some of them old, some of that old stuff up here and block it off pretty good. <coughs> Pretty wet. So with this being wet, I'm gonna put my dirt hole down in it, and I'm gonna put my trap in right here, and it's gonna essentially be a, like an old trench, set step down or a, something like that. But I'll get that auger out and I'll dig down in there. And then I'll put some of this stuff around it and they'll step down in there. Lots of disturbance going on. I'm gonna bet it, Pete, all the way around. Is that because it's wet? Wet and uh, keep it from freezing down in this. I mean, this is that old gumbo mud. I don't know what the hell it actually is, but sticky yeah it's sticky and i don't like i said earlier i don't think it's going to get cold enough to really worry much about it could very well be wrong i don't worry about it freezing down we in peak till it gets down there in the mid teens or if it gets just a torrential downpour and it's essentially setting in water because this peat has been setting inside for years i mean it's bone dry it's dust essentially it still retains its spongy form but you get to mess with it much, it'll turn into dust. Oh, that ain't good. Yeah, you went all the way in then. Yep. Solid it up, though. Maybe it'll catch. So. With that, I'll drive this as far in there as I can get it. The hell? Down that hole shut. That's your peat moss? Yep. And it's just, I mean, see, it's just bone ash dry. Now any clumps like that right there will just turn right up. So even if you have that on your trap, it's going to bust up. Pete don't never solid up. I've never been able to get it done anyway. Do you worry about it much? Or? Yeah. I mean, I, that's why I'm using on cat set. Yeah. They don't worry about it anyway. He'd step on it if it was showing. 
you know, they're, just, they're not, it's not that they're stupid, it's just they don't have that fear like a lot of animals do. I mean, that's solid. My trap is solid, but that peat is. Still doughy? I mean, yeah, it's yeah. just, uh, here in a minute, you can stick your finger in there and you'll see. It's not like dirt. Put a little bit around there. And then, of course, I'll clean all that up. Since it didn't go in like I wanted to, I'm gonna dig back a little further and go ahead and put my hole in. Should essentially be able to get a hole in the ground pretty well out here. Bro, by the way, that stake drove in there, you think? Yeah. I want it about a foot from the pan, really, is what I go for. And with these cats, I uh, I want a fairly flat face on the back end of it going in. Right here, that'll help with rain. We're not supposed to get a lot of rain, but weathermen ain't never right, so we'll see what happens. It may not rain at all. But if you get a pretty substantial amount of rain, that rain will hit and roll in and fill your hole up. And essentially all we want is a hole here with a cat because I'm planning on drawing them here with that CD. And I'm hanging high enough where wherever they are out here, they can, they can see this. Because as humans, we look at stuff from five, six feet up. But if you get down there close to the ground, that's what a cat's looking at. So if you hang it right here, he's going to be right here within a few feet of it. <clears throat> peat moss gets wet enough and and i mean it's got to get wet to do it but if you get ants or rain overnight or over 24 hours and then it drops down there like it does up here for some reason gets 19 degrees that'll all free solid make sure. You gotta charge them every now and then. Huh? You gotta charge them every now and then. I don't take this thing home at night. I didn't think about it. But I had enough common sense this morning to grab my spare battery. <laughs> that was charging home. <coughs> Your main objective is day to remind me to take that home charge it. Which after day I shouldn't need it. Now they get it. Yeah, you do a lot better now. Be a lot better if that mud wouldn't be so sticky yeah, too. It's sticky, let's go far enough down. I mean we're nine, ten inches in, that's plenty for me. I always take my hammer handle. Pack it up. People take better care of their CDs than I probably do. Put that in the CD player. What is that, like the grunge mix from the 90s? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, I used to make my own swivels out of these. I'd take two of these, twist them up on the end, and they would flip back and forth. But I buy them big catfishing or what is it you do? Trout duck line. hunting. Trout hunting, yeah. Duck hunting snaps from Academy Walmart. And it'll just sit there and spin in the wind. The wind's supposed to pick up today. So, I mean, but it'll just sit there and do that. And even with very little moonlight, a human being can see that from 50 yards away. So a cat will see it coming down that road there, come working that edge or coming back through here. They're especially right there. And they might do make a little bit of noise when the wind gets to blowing. So if they're close, it'll draw their attention that way as well. Now, chances of coyote getting in is slim to none, but I've got coyote sets at that end of the road, coyote sets at that end of the road. I could miss the occasional coyote running through here, but I don't see a trail down through there, so I have a feeling if they come through here, they're hitting one way or the other. So, inexperienced trappers overset, and I do when I'm not sure still, um, but I've learned that 
a lot of people want to put two there, two here, and two down there, and hell, you're only going to catch one or two coyotes in here anyway, so put it in good places and let them work. If I miss a coyote here, I'll never know it, so it won't matter to me. But, um, That was handy. <laughs> what I like to use is kind of lightweight to get around in and stuff. I, don't make, I do make cubby sets, but only if I'm in deep timber down at that bottom down there, I'd have probably done it. But, uh, This is the only thing I'll drag uh, stuff up for is cats. Everything else, if it ain't hard there, I ain't messing with it. You want this stuff where possums come through and get to dicking around, which is inevitable. That's what I'm doing all this work for is a big six pound possum. But. I'm gonna put that there just to make them not want to step there. Make sure ain't got no rocks or nothing in here. Now that's gonna be a natural step for them. I'm gonna move that clod right here over the. That's a rock. Don't want that. Just to keep them honest. So he comes in here to this, figures out he can't something he can have sex with or eat, and he'll be right here, and he'll see that. So, got bait it, lure it, and we're ready. You gonna lure it? Lure, I'm gonna put me a little lure in it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that mud out there is just. That's just nasty. I mean, yeah. Just that old gumbo, I don't want to take I run a lot of urine. That's lasted me about four years. So, I don't really believe in running muscular or brush urine. Where'd you get there? Hiawatha Valley. Hiawatha Valley! I've had it for years. Hmm. Luckily, because apparently you can't get it now. Yeah, you cannot. You may now, but when I was looking for some, you sure couldn't. Yeah. You don't need just a ton of this stuff down in the hole, but I put it way back down in the hole. Cat collector, one of my favorite cat. One, not one of it is my favorite. Cat Smells collector. like uh, laundry detergent. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that is. It smells good to me. Uh, it's got catnip in it. I can smell it, and maybe a little castor. I don't really know. But last cow I caught was off that cat collector. I mean, cow. Yeah, I mean, this ain't a cat on the bait by no means. I mean, I run it in a lot of my. Uh, a lot of my. Coyote sets, especially like as a curiosity deal, like in that three hole. I run cat collector quite a bit. And being that it's a cat. Oh, what's that? Hellfire. A hellfire. Is that spelled F A R? Far, yeah. Yeah, put that on it. Hellfire. You'll put that in the hole? I'll put it in the hole. All the way down on the bottom of it. And I'll take my bait dauber and dub it all the way down in there. <coughs> I love the smell, Skunk. You, you only a trapper will say that, too. Because you're the only one damn people to do it. But I'm the same way. My wife just packs some gas trouble on that highway until it smells like money. Before I uh, before I knew I lost my smell with the COVID, I went ran traps and put some hellfire out. And I looked, I had a little bit of red on my hands and wiped it off. And I, I thought, man, I hope I didn't get that on me too good. And I smelled my hands, I didn't smell any. And I got home and my wife was like, I, sm I smell outside. skunk. There must be skunk outside. And I was like, eh? it didn't really 
clicked to me that I'd lost my smell till I was in the shower and couldn't smell my soap. There you go. Here's your catch it. Alright. The famous Spud Jones cat set. Alright. Moving on. Alright, there you go. Alright, so you got a trail here running down his draw. Uh, it's coming from that side of the road going right through here and it's a pretty prevalent trail. Looked up and down the side of this creek, and this is the most obvious place for a cat to go. And if you'll look out there, you'll see it's kind of flat. Cats like to come along these creeks like this. They don't look gross, all kinds of stuff. But put this up. Right here's the trail. So walking down through here, probably gonna catch a big old boar coon, but we might catch a cat in it anyway. But rocky ground down here in these creek bottoms. Worked myself to death. Uh, got a hole watered out big enough to put a trap in and then filled it back in. Big thing just make sure it's solid. Punched in a little old hole, cat collector and a little top dog from Hoosier Trapper in there, and call it good. So I either do a blowed out dirt hole or I do a super sneaky dirt hole, which is just a hole and then I blend in everything in front of it. And I only do that if I catch animals making a lot of refusals at my set. If they come up here and they stop right here and they won't go in any further, or it looks like they're starting to get in here if they start digging in my trap bed. Most of the time if they start digging in my trap bed and I know it's a coyote or a fox, they're, they're digging at that loose soil around my pan. A lot of people worry about it. Um, I mean, fill it back in and go on, you'll catch them eventually. Uh, I don't waste my time, I'm not worried about it. I'm not out here setting all winter, so I'm not trying to catch old three toes. So I wanna catch about 30% of the predator population. Um, because landowner, he's a big cattle farmer and all that stuff, so we, we're trying to take as many cows out as we can. But, you know, as an outdoorsman, hunter, especially a turkey hunter, uh, I'm trying to take care of nest predators, coons, possums, skunks, and anything else that step in there, wild cats, whatever. So, but when a lot of people, they don't do it like this, it looks super strange, but there's just a little old spot. And I've seen a lot of refusals where they won't step in there and they'll take a shit right on the outside edge of it. And I don't have any kind of backing on this. There, I mean, I'm just using this natural Lespedeza here. I took the all the rock and what little dirt come out of the hole, throw it back there and then dug my hole in. And, yeah, and I'll use it, but there's a trail running along the edge of this uh, field. There's absolutely no reason in the world for me to set a trap out here in this field. There's no defining features. There's not anything going on for me. Um, there's a trail and I can see it going along the edge of this road or the edge of this field. We got this road and the trail coming across here um, and it makes a good intersection. So uh, coyotes, bobcats, coons, everything else is going to run right up and down it. And a lot of people want to set traps like me and you talked about when we got here over there, especially when they're new. There's no reason to. You're not, I'm not trying to pull them over there to me. If you do that, it, it don't work. Uh, I mean, you've could possibly catch something over there on the right day, the right time, and him moving through. But I'm trying to give this trap as many contacts with wild animals as I can. The trails here, the roads here, we're two feet off of both. And uh, so any animal that comes through here is going to see that and smell it. So even if the wind's blowing wrong, they're still gonna smell it. So that'll be a good set, whether it's coyotes, fox, coons, whatever. It'll work, cat, anything comes through here. All right, guys, we come down to this bottom, big long creek bottom here. Grow up and see your trees. 
growed up field on top of that ridge here. We put this little gray fox set in. Uh, grays and cedar trees go together like peas and carrots, as Forrest Gump would say. There's a lot of cedar in here, a lot of brush, a lot of briars. There's gonna be some grays moving through here hunting and I can pick us up a cat. <clears throat> Did a simple dirt hole and this found this old burnt snag here. Put our hole. Go on that side here in the sun if you see. We put our uh, dirt hole underneath this burnt snag. Offset this trap just a little bit. Uh, deep dirt hole. We're gonna make these grays stand on their head. Anyway, let's move on. Why hello? Uh, <coughs> Get tired of setting the same old bullshit sets all the time. Uh, I'm a flat guy, I like flat sets. Um, I've got a hay bale set here. I've got hay stacked right up the top of the hill there. Just get tired of pounding in the same flat sets. And uh, this is legal in Arkansas, which I mean, it's bull that a lot of the other good sets I can't use, like T bone flat sets and stuff like that that I grew up learning how to trap on and are illegal now because you can't use any biological anything. So this set, I made my flat set, a versa made flat set originally. Pounded in a mouse hole with my punch. And I took this, an animal had made a den in between a couple of those hay bales up there, but there wasn't enough sign around the hay bales for me to set around them and to burn a trap in them. So I pulled that den material out and I brought it down here this is a creek crossing. There's very few along here. Most of this is bluff. So these animals that access this side of the river got to move here. Um, they're going to come up out of here. I've got a step down dirt hole there and I've got this. Uh, it gives them something else to look at. Plus it's two traps. I need another one here. But use this big den material as the backing and then use just hay I gathered off the thing in here and put it around. And the thing is, you can't tell. And I, and I put it in here and I got an idea where the trap is, but I really don't know. Uh, barely covered the trap, put it in with just cut hay, and then I took just the rest of that hay bale and put it around. I didn't use new hay that the farmer just put out. I put using hay that he's obviously not using that's been there for several years. But I don't want a lot of people do a, a walk through. I don't like to do them as much as this. Uh, it's simply a flat set with eye peel generally, but this is very visible. From all the way to the top of that next ridge over there, any coyote or animal comes through here, he's gonna see this and come and check it out. They're very curious like we are. If a human comes through here, they're gonna stop and look at it. So, cause it's out of place, it shouldn't be here. And, but it's natural material, smells of other animals. Um, and I think it'll be a great set. Finished up and got 15 sets in today. Um, hopefully you learned something. We'll see what now, as I catch, I'll try to keep him in picture or thought of it and I'll send them to him so maybe we'll see some catches out here today. That's all I got. I don't think anybody anything else.